I'm here to do my um, fortnightly <laughs> sky update um, a little early this time because it's a big event and um, you may already have heard about it if you have been keeping up with the astrological news. But basically, um, what is happening on October uh, 25th is that we're going to be having a partial solar eclipse in Scorpio, um, which will be followed by a, um, a full lunar eclipse um, in Taurus later on. Um, basically, my first, uh, the first thing that I would say with regard to eclipses is that um, I consider them absolutely unpredictable events. Really, um, these eclipse events, though there, there might be a flavour and of course there'll be areas in your own life in which these things manifest and of course there will be signs and points in signs for which the the events will be stronger um, and more felt than others um, and I will go into that but really for me eclipse events kind of come out of nowhere in a way and uh, um, and you come out in a different place so it's like a, a it's like it resets your your journey so let's say that you you're on a course like this and then it's like a blip and it, it's not like it necessarily takes you backwards or it's like it resets your course and you could go somehow you, you things are not the same anymore um <laughs> Eclipses tend to bring fated meetings um, or events. Like I say, those they can be very, very strange. Now, this is happening in early Scorpio, so it's happening at one degree of Scorpio. It's actually nearly two degrees where it actually happens, because it's like one degree and 50, you know, the 50-something second lead. This is going to affect early Scorpio, obviously. <laughs> so the first decans of Scorpio so let's just say the first 10 days of Scorpio is really going to you know if you're born in the first 10 days of Scorpio that's going to happen very close to your sun and um, also first degrees of Taurus it's going to happen opposite your sun so first decans of Taurus 10 days first 10 days of Taurus first 10 days of Aquarius it's going to square your sun and the first 10 days of Leo also it will square your sun and for all of those signs regardless of the decans the, the, it will be a significant event but for those people who really fall in that first decan those first 10 days it's really um really going to be felt of course if you have another planet in the first like 10 degrees of any of those signs it's also going to be important for you so if you have a moon in um, early scorpio or early uh, taurus leo or aquarius again you could find that the eclipse really affects you of course for everybody the eclipse is happening the eclipse is happening for everybody <laughs> and will be felt by everybody you know i don't think these things are things to be uh, frightened of necessarily and I know that this is in Scorpio and I know that also Pluto is squaring it and these that that is heavy obviously I mean that's heavy stuff so I don't want to be too I'm not the, the kind of person to ignore the fact that there are people have real real traumas in life and real um, and that there is real suffering uh, that, that can occur um, for uh, absolutely no reason and I'm not I'm not the kind of spiritual person who ignores that and pretends that everything is uh, always cool no uh, I'm very realistic about the nature of the world and the nature of people's experience and um, I think it is uh, contemptible not to be in a way um, so I, I don't want to but I don't want to um, frighten anybody and I think that um, in these situations, I mean, when we're dealing with Scorpio, we're dealing with um, 
some pretty deep issues. And when we, you know, Scorpio is a sign that really has to do with issues that are very much linked to um, our instincts, drives, and, and our, uh, our instinct for survival, really. And Pluto is too. And so when you have Pluto squaring uh, an eclipse in Scorpio, um, you don't really want to to um, underestimate what the, the the potential power of that to to um, put people through some some difficulty uh, as part of uh, a transformative experience. For some people, it could be experiencing something absolutely incredibly life affirming. I think that. Um, these uh, Plutonian experiences really can be, but for some people they can feel very threatening and very difficult. Um, I think that um, despite the fact that it, it, it is in a fixed sign, and I know that it's affecting fixed signs, and fixed signs are not naturally, their superpower is not that they're adaptable, that is the mutable signs um, superpower that they use mutable signs can adapt to change really the superpower of the fixed signs is that they are very resilient that they're very strong and they really can kind of stand in their position and take a lot of battering um scorpios fixed water can really they they can draw on the most incredible um, emotional strength that, 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 that other people, you know, simply, simply don't have, you know, they can, they can get through some things that, um, for the rest of us seem horrific and really kind of, uh, get through them in a, with incredible strength and take, and they, and they, um, they do, transform but you know they will have they can because of their fixed nature instead of being like immutable signs will just take you know dodge the bullet the scorpio will take the bullet and heal itself and come up stronger taurus is a similar sign in that way it's not got perhaps the it's not got perhaps the, the ability to go so emotionally deep, but they have incredible groundedness and stability that really, you know, it's very difficult to take them down. And, um, you know, they, they're, they're like very strong trees or rocks that can weather um, great storms and stay in place. And... Um, they really can let it just go over them in a way. Not letting it infiltrate them is really the, the power of the Taurus. Leo is like that, um, that quote from Camus, I think it is. Um, Even in the depths of winter, I found within myself an invincible summer. And I think that is the Leo superpower. They're, they are solar by nature, the sun, the sun burns in them brightly and while they don't necessarily, um, you know, go through them easily, they can, they can really be hurt, Leos, you know, they're very open-hearted creatures, but it's very difficult to bring down that, that optimism. It's really difficult to put out a sun, and that's where Leo's strength lies. Aquarius's strength lies in the fact that um, they are um, able to detach. They are able to remove themselves from the, the physical, emotional situation and kind of look upon it in um, an objective um, analytical way from a position outside of themselves and that is how um, Aquariuses can get through situations that is the superpower of Aquariuses so 
you guys may need to draw on upon these superpowers and undoubtedly the um, eclipse may bring transformative experiences that like i say could be absolutely fantastic unexpected life affirming and really really deep and uh, interesting and make life a little bit more exciting but um if it does hit you hard I think that I would, you know, like to say draw upon those superpowers. You won't be defeated. You never are. You you do get up. You know, you do get up. You're, you're very strong signs. Some of the strongest. For the rest of us, um, I would say that, you know, Intimate relationships, emotional stuff, shadow stuff, um, in different aspects of our lives, and also money could be an issue. Cal surprise with the current situation. So, yeah, I mean, it's going to depend on what house it falls in your chart, and that's going to depend on the position of your ascendant, really. But not only, because it does relate to the sun. So you can view your sun as the first house and then wherever the uh, eclipse is happening is the house um, where you will feel it. I absolutely follow the rule that both, that all of the houses on the axis, you know, that, that get involved by, either by relation to your ascendant or by relation to your sun, together, all of them, um, form the complex of uh, things that happens during an event like this so that's all from me i hope it was helpful and um, i hope that the eclipse is a positive experience for as many of you as possible take care